South Korean health authorities reported last month that dozens of patients who had recovered from COVID-19 later tested positive again. That revelation threatened to complicate efforts to lift quarantine restrictions and to produce a vaccine. But after weeks of research, they now say that such test results appear to be false positives, caused by lingering but not likely infectious bits of the virus. So how do false positives come about? South Korea uses reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction tests, which detect the genetic material of the coronavirus. Experts say the tests quickly and accurately detect whether a patient has the virus, but they also pick up old particles of it, which may no longer pose a significant threat to the patient or others. Sol Dai Wu from Seoul's Chungang University said the machine itself cannot distinguish an infectious viral particle versus a non-infectious virus particle, as the test simply detects any viral component. So it's likely that the 350 people in South Korea with so-called false positive test results still had the virus, rather than a second bout of it. The World Health Organization has said that there was currently no evidence that people who have recovered from COVID-19 and have antibodies are fully protected from a second coronavirus infection. The United Nations Agency has even warned governments against issuing immunity passports to people who have been infected, as immunity could not be guaranteed.